What's up? This is Rapids and so 42 Doug is going through it. He wants to get out of jail. He originally violated probation, was supposed to turn himself in for like six months. He never turned himself in. So they caught up with him about a month later. And now he's been sitting in there for like a year. It looks like they just had him serve the rest of his sentence out, his original sentence out, after he violated that probation. So he set that out. He was in jail that whole time waiting to finish his original sentence. So right away, they already hit him hard because if he would have just originally turned himself in for the original six months, then he would have been out. But no, nah, he, he played around and, and failed to turn himself in. So they made him finish out his sentence in jail instead of free. Now that that's done, they hitting him with another charge. And that charge, it looks like it's for running. But they waited until he was done with his original sentence before they hit him with these new charges so that he couldn't sit down and have time served for the other charge as well. They want to make sure that he does. It's almost like doing double time in a way because they could have processed all that and maybe they could have had him serve them both time at the same time. But instead, they waited till the end. They waited till he was done with his original sentence to get him with that new charge. So now he sh looks like he probably won't get out until May of 2024 is looking like. So Yo Gotti is trying to get him out of there. He's offered $2 million for any lawyer that can get him out and beat those charges, maybe get him out on bail or something. Just get him out, he's saying, because 42 Doug just released a statement. He said he's heating up his food with shower water to warm up his food. He's saying the living conditions is horrible where he's sitting in. Um, so it looks like 42 Doug is from Florida, but I'm not sure exactly where he's locked up right now. But, yeah, it looks like he's having some very difficult times in that jail cell. He's saying, like, it's the conditions is not humane, he's saying. It sounds like it's a very raggedy jail, and he's just saying that there's, there's no way to be living. And so it's probably worse than your typical jail from what he's describing. Some people are saying, oh, it's, it's supposed to be like that. You, He's in jail, so... You know, what's he expect? But no, from what he's describing, it sounds worse, you know, but I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. As far as Little J, look, I'm hearing some news about him. So originally they said his bail was denied because he really should be getting out this month if he's going to be getting out for his original charge. It looks like he was in a domestic incident and then they caught him with like a gun. You know, I can't say that. Um, They caught him with a firearm. Um. It, well, that's what they say. Like, he tossed it. The police found it in the bushes or something because he was trying to get up out of a situation where it uh, sounds like somebody called the police on him and, and say, said, like, it was like a Little Reese thing where it was a domestic situation, it sounded like. And, he, and when the police pulled up, he was already walking down the street trying to get out of there. And they got him. Then they looked around and found a firearm in the bushes or something like that. So... He's facing some good time for that. I mean, you know what? He Chicago, sometimes they let you get out of that stuff maybe after like a couple years. So I think he might have to sit down. Those charges really can carry three to five years sometimes. So and especially depends on if it gets picked up by the feds. Usually that's a fed situation when they find a gun on a felon. Because that's the law that is being broken. It's like a federal law. So he might not get out, but he has family members saying that's cap. So I'm going to be getting some updates for you and see if little J is getting out anytime soon or not. Maybe he can get out on bail while he's facing the charges for that gun. And I don't know. I mean, I don't see any reason why he can't get out while he's facing those charges but you know with his situation being on parole and stuff they probably just like no you violated they're gonna have you sit down that whole time even while you fighting the charges they don't have to give him bail because he messed up you know that you ain't supposed to be carrying nothing like that when you out on parole so little j i don't know uh what well, i like i said i'll get you an update when i can all right, this has been Rapids. I'm about out of here. Make sure you like and subscribe and all that. I'm going to leave some links for you too. I'm out of here.